Oh, Jerry's got to quit the tequila. I swear to God. Oh. Hey. Sorry, I didn't know anyone was here. Well, are you okay? You look pretty out of it. Yoo-hoo! Anybody home? No? You give me that drink? God, if someone slipped something into it... <laughs> Ugh, yikes, what is this? Yeah, let's just sit that over there. Ah, uh, I think I know what's happened here. It's a lot out there, huh? Usually, I love parties, but it was getting a bit too much for me too. Just sit tight, I'll be back. Hey. Jenny? Jenny? You still standing? Good. Go get me an ice pack. An ice pack? Thanks, Jenny. Oh god, please don't throw up. Perfect. Thanks, Jenny. Go get some water, okay? And she's gone already. Uh, she'll be fine. Here, hold this to your neck. Trust me, it does wonders. Something about the Vegas nerves. One time I was at the JFK airport on Christmas Eve. Of all the days, one of the worst experiences in my life. Uh, I had an anxiety attack building all day and then it hit. And of course, I'm like digging my nails into my scalp just to try to keep my head on straight. Which is absolutely not the way to go. My buddy rolled up with a ice cold fronter and made me hold it to my neck. And it was crazy how the anxiety instantly just poof. I mean, not poof because it doesn't really work like that. But I managed to get enough of a handle on it to actually make it onto the flight. I'm sorry. I'm like totally rumbling. Do you want me to go? No? Okay. You know what? I'm gonna go grab some pillows and sit to throw in the bathtub so we can just chill because I really don't want to go back into that party. <laughs> no, no, you're fine. Just camp out on the toilet for a sec while I check this out for vomit. Yeah, that's fine. Just gonna lay it out here and ta-da! Come on, sit with me, get comfy. Hey, are you crying? Oh, no, no, please don't cry. That's the one thing I don't know how to deal with. It's okay, it's okay. I promise. I know it's so loud out there and all the lights. Do you have someone who can take you home? No? Are you here alone? Is there someone you can call? Or text or something? Oh, please, please don't cry. It's okay. Here, take my phone. You can use the note app to tell me how I can help. 
I can drive you home if I need to. I'm here with Jenny and she's trashed and she needs to go home. Anyway, I can call someone for you if I need to. Okay, let me see. Your friends ditch you for another party. Hate to say it, kid, but I don't think those are your friends. I don't blame them for ditching this party, but leaving you behind, that's just messed up. It's like tying a dog to a railroad. It's kind of messed up. You don't go to a lot of parties, do you? <laughs> no, no, no. Please, don't feel bad. Trust me. I'd rather be in here right now than out there right now watching everyone fall over themselves while they play their sixth round of beer pong and the music it just sucks tonight for whatever reason you are not like a burden or whatever i mean i don't really have a whole lot of sensory issues but my sister She's the type to never leave the house without her noise-cancelling headphones. Keeps those foam earplugs on her too. It's like she's about to show up at a rally rage or something. Can't do flashing lights, can't do crowds, can't even do movie theatres. There was a period of time where she wouldn't go out with us for anything and we thought she just didn't want to go but she finally confessed that she didn't want to go out and risk having a meltdown that would ruin everybody else's day and i had to be like are you stupid like we obviously want you there and we want you to have a good time and if there's a risk of being too much that's fine we'll be prepared she was so worried about impacting other people's enjoyment that she wouldn't enjoy anything herself or sending someone ahead to scout out the situation or just flat out have to leave early basically does not make you a burden you do stuff for people because you care about them that's kind of how relationships are supposed to work. I guess what I'm saying is that those friends of yours really suck. I don't know if you need to hear this, but you are not too much, okay? Not for people who actually care about you and want you to be happy. You should come with me and Jenny next time. We end up leaving early most of the time <laughs> anyway because one of us always gets hungry and it would be nice to have another person on the chauffeur rotation <laughs> and we know the more chill spots too. I mean that out there is about as crazy as I can handle and that's pushing it. <laughs> Jenny's fine anywhere, though she's a bit of a party animal. I don't know, the vibe of this house is just weird. There's so many rooms, but also like no place to hide. And all the hallways, I'm surprised I've even managed to find the bathroom. <laughs> So, are you feeling any better? You want a ginger chew? I always keep mints and candy on me because it gives me something to focus on when I just get overwhelmed. We'll give it a few more minutes and then we will scoop up Jenny and make a break for it. If that's cool with you. I can take you straight home. 
but knowing Jenny, she wants a bloody Dairy Queen. Or some stuff like that. You wanna go with us? Cool, cool. <laughs> no, no, don't feel bad about typing. We are in no rush. Besides, it only takes a couple extra seconds to type something out than to say out loud. My sister has a whole ring of cards for when she goes non-verbal. She made them all herself because the printable ones are so babyish. It's ridiculous how many people treat her like a toddler too. When she was a grown ass adult, it's crazy, isn't it? I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. One time we were at a Six Flags and I was buying some massive oversized ridiculously expensive turkey leg and she was sitting alone at a table near with her headphones on chilling with the plush duck that she comes around for like emotional support or whatever and I guess one of the employees thought she was lost my card was declined and I was getting a little bit stressed out when I hear this random lady just baby talking my adult sister. The lady tried to take her hand and lead her away, so my sister flipped through all her cards until she found the one that said F off. <laughs> I tried so hard to hold it together. The moment the lady left I just lost it and my sister was so furious but she thought it was pretty funny once we had some food in our stomachs like what is with that what gives you the audacity to walk up to other adults and talk to them like they are stupid sure like maybe some people need to talk slower or communicate in a different way but you can't just whiz up like Are you lost, sweetheart? Do you need help finding your mummy? Ugh. When the person obviously isn't in any sort of distress. I could totally give you my sister's number. I know you need some new friends and she always is happy to meet someone new. Even if she doesn't show it. I mean, people assume that she's not showing it, but she's kind of like a cat. You know, a way a cat says, I like you, is that they just sit in your field of view and then maybe approach you eventually, if you've got some good vibes. And that's what my sister does. Some days we don't say a word to each other, but we all spend the whole day doing the same thing. We just vibrate that. You are looking a lot better. The ice pack trick is crazy, right? Like your brain could totally be short circuiting, but then you just put something cold on the side of your neck and it gets things back in order. Are you ready to make a break through it? Yeah, just plug your ears and float behind me. Don't worry about the crowd. If I put on a face, I can get them apart like the Red Sea. It'll be fine, just keep your head down and I'll get you out of there, safe and sound. <laughs> I'll take you out to the car and then I'll go back down and get Jenny. And then we can go get Dairy Queen. <laughs> Don't worry, Jenny's paying. That's the rule. One of us drives, one of us pays for food. <laughs> Alright kid, let's do this. <laughs> 